Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Close all the blinds, please. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Do I need umbrella today? It is very unlikely that it will rain in Leinfeld and Etchedingham today. Temperatures will be between 11 and 21 degrees with moderate southwesterly winds. How is the weather in London tomorrow? Tomorrow it will be partly cloudy in London with a low of 11 and a high of 16 degrees. And how does an elephant sound? Please follow the lane to turn right. So maybe you already know the level 2 systems which we have already in our field with the current models for example 167 and the old S-Class also but now we want to engage the level 3. Level 2 means driver has the responsibility of everything what happens. Level 3 means while you are in level 3 the system or the car has the responsibility of what happens and this is the next step in driving assistance systems. So now we are approaching the traffic jam and you see that uh, the system <coughs> can be engaged uh, by these white lights and so just press the button and it's being activated. So this is autonomous 3. Yeah, this and is level 3. Yeah. When will it be available? It will be available uh, most probably mid of next year, next, mid of 2021 wow, okay. in this Model S. Wow. Yeah, uh, sorry, S class. So the car is now driving itself? Yeah. Yeah. So it's handling everything. I can I do not need to have my hands on the steering wheel. I can for instance uh you know surf and, and watch YouTube if I want. Or do uh in car office uh, as another option. So we really don't need to look no, outside. I don't, I don't need to watch uh, the, the behavior around me. I can simply... For instance, go 
to your channel, watch your video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to look around. No. We can quite happily watch YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is the next level. Yes, yes, yes. So this is indeed level three. <laughs> um, the future office. You don't need chauffeur. You true. just sit in your yeah, car yeah, yeah, yeah. and do your work. Yeah, while the car yeah. takes you to A to B. Yeah, true. Wow. Yeah. This really is amazing. So the, the availability in the first step next year will be um, will be in Germany on German highways. Okay. Um, simply because uh, in that setting we have the legal regulations that allow to safely. Um, you know, bring this to the market, and subsequently we will bring it to other markets uh, in 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 you know upcoming years. So the car will get recognized by these. Yes. Circle. So this is this car, and you see, if it leaves the lane, we will take as a lead vehicle the other one in front of us. Now you see it's it's warning me it's warning me to take over because there is an emergency vehicle approaching Once the emergency vehicle is gone, I can activate the system again. <clears throat> yeah, 60. And now just again. Now we're in level 3. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So now the car is self driving, not touching any controls. This is actually very cool yeah. and this is the future yeah, yeah. we always talked about yeah. and it's happening now this is really cool so welcome to the new parking system and camera system on the new s class it's a complete new generation of parking and camera system and today i'd like to show you what the new functions are so one of the first functions is quick park so the car detected the parking spot with the cameras, we are parking here only on the lines and the car recognized that there is a parking spot and with only one press, the, the, the quick park starts. So I do nothing, the car steers and accelerates and brakes by itself and will park here on the lines. Wow, perfect parking. Yeah. Really impressive. <laughs> really. So there's actually a cool feature when we park out. So this car is equipped with a rear axle steering. And as you can see here, the, the guiding lines from the front wheels and the rear wheels are parallel to each other. So we drive to the, to the side. It's completely new and only possible oh, wow. because the car is equipped with a rear axle steering. And then we park out. So it's much easier to pull out. It's much easier and also it, it helps get, if, if we imagine there would be a curbstone, it helps that we first get uh, away from the curbstone before we steer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To protect the rims and the tires, which to is very any damage with the curb. 
that's perfect a very important for a city like london where you have lots of curb parking yeah and you can sort of stay away from the curb and then drive off exactly. and you can also park in very tight spaces that exactly. system is amazing that's the use case so we we will park in forward that's more complicated for the system And you can see I kept my promise only with two strokes we were able to get into this cross parking spot and this is possible because the rear axle steering reduces our turning radius and therefore we can reduce the number of strokes. The 2D views we had also in our previous cars. Yeah. But what we have now is also 3D. Okay. So you can zoom out and you can touch around the car. You can you can have every angle to your car and you can zoom in. And what is also very cool, the system is really realistic. So if I uh, turn on the indicator lights, yeah. you can you can see that they're actually working. So would you please open your door? Okay. You also see a realistic picture of what the status of the car is. Uh, the, the, the door doesn't go that far, but if you close it again, go back. So that's so you can get to any angle. And what I really like about it is you have also have this view, like a rim view. And imagine this line would be a, a curbstone. Curb. You can go there and exactly see uh, this is much how better to system. approach and so it really helps you um, yeah. to have the, the right view in every situation because yeah you can move around the whole car from every angle that's very good because you normally you used to get the bird's eye view not being able to go around the car and you still be able to curb the car but now with this system, it's very easy to park. Exactly. Yeah. So now we're in auto mode and we are approaching an obstacle in front. And now dependent on this situation, the camera view is changing. First we move to the top and then on the right side, we also got a, we get a, a picture where it's zoomed in. So you have a better uh, overview what's going on right before your car. And on the in the 3d view you also see how the we, we call it the spline around the car which so shows the distance um, to obstacles how the color are changing dependent on the distance and so you can move around and you can actually see how this blinds fits to the to the obstacles in front and if I put it back in auto mode and I drive backward. And then it goes it to the normal it, view. It, it goes back to the normal. Oh, that's very clever. And if I go to front gear, then you see where it's moving. The camera is moving backward and I can see more in the front. So that's pretty cool. It, it changes the view dependent on the distance to an obstacle. That's very good camera system and in the parking uh, system but we also keep an eye on safety and of course we want to fulfill all latest regulations um, there so now we are searching for a park spot and imagine we have this one here so we start in we start to park in maneuver and now imagine there would be a child with a bobby car. And just look how the system behaves. It 
just stops at the red line. It, st it stops. show you what happens or we want to show you what happens if you go with 100 kph wow. on a standing car and on a condition like this on a condition like this right now i'm scared whoa gosh that's amazing no skidding you see, you see i do no you did nothing, nothing with no me. skidding it's very wet condition and the car didn't slip at all of course normally you don't see the red light it stays a green light with the with the system at all but with wet conditions it decided to do a little more it sees it's now it's getting ugly surface so we do a little more So we go with this tronic. Yeah. Of course yeah. we break as much as we have to, yeah. but not as much as we can. We could have hit the brake directly. Yeah. But it's not necessary. There might be some trouble some traffic in the rear of us. Yeah. And it might have swashed us. Yeah, we so it's enough hard. enough yeah. braking to stop, not too hard braking that people will pile up on back of us. Of course, yeah, absolutely. Very right. good system. For the first driverless parking experience here, of course, we don't want anybody to be in the vehicle. So that's the first step. Um, second, of course, we're on the way to our plane. So we take our luggage with us. Oh, we shouldn't leave anything as the car will drive away while we walk towards the terminal. Now the magic starts. The key stays with me. I don't have to hand it over to any other uh, person. There's the valet is automated. So I remain in control of the vehicle. Whenever I want to, I can use the key to get it back. And now Mercedes makes you a promise. Mercedes tells you, we will take care of the car for you as soon as the uh, parking process starts and you don't have to worry about it. Whatever happens, we and our partners here will take care. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're actually establishing the connection to um, the vehicle and to the infrastructure from the vehicle. So as you can see, there are some uh, cameras up over your head. The cameras are um, here to extend the sensors of the vehicle. And the vehicle actually uses a unique blink code. And this blink code is used such that the um, infrastructure can locate the vehicle on the parking spot where I left it. So now the engine starts entirely automatically and the drop-off can begin. So as soon as I now press the drop-off button, the drive will start and I can walk away to my plane.
Hi, I'm Manuel from Product Management S-Class and today we want to introduce you our new generation S-Class. Here you can see the new S-Class with its new design language starting from the front with, a, with our new grille. And also new on the side profile you can see our new seamless door handles which flip out if you approach the car. and drive in if you close the car. On the side you also can see we have new rim designs up to 21 inch. And also a new high-tech feature of the new S-Class is the rear wheel steering. Up to 10 degrees the rear wheels are able to steer against the front wheels. So in low speeds in the city the rear wheels can turn up in the opposite direction of the front wheels to make it easy to maneuver in the cities, like in fully congested London cities. And at higher speeds, over 60 km per hour, the rear wheels steer in the same direction as the front wheels to make it even more agile on high speed corners on the autobahn. Here at the rear, we also can see our new tail lights, which have also animated graphics as you can see here. This is the new key to our new S-Class. And now we're inside. You can see the completely new cabin. Let's start with our new 12.8 inch OLED screen, which is capable of haptical feedback if you press. And also here we can see our 3D instrument cluster. Here at our new instrument cluster, it's very easy to change the styles. We even feature a complete unique style for the new S-Class, which is very elegant in silver. And also, if you like it more sporty, you can change to the sport style, which is a very cool feature, especially in combination with the 3D instrument cluster, you can really see the depth of the display. A very important seat in the S-Class is always in the rear. So welcome in the rear of the new S-Class. In the highest option, you have up to five different screens in the S-Class. Two in the front and three in the back. Here you can see our new MBUX4 entertainment system and also the MBUX4 tablet. You can easily take it out and control the whole MBUX system from this tablet. So you are even able to introduce a new navigation destination and swipe it up to the front so the driver knows where to go.